Don Reno's first job on radio was at WSPA Spartanburg, South Carolina. He was 13 when he had his own show playing the French harp and the guitar. Shortly after his initiation into the business, Don formed the Carolina Hillbillies and started playing the five-string banjo, the instrument which has since become his trademark. And, as only Don Reno can play it, here he is on the five-string doing a number entitled Jack Knifin'. <laughs> In 1941, Don became banjo player for Arthur Smith and the Cracker Jacks at WBT, Charlotte, North Carolina. As soon as he reached his 17th birthday in 1944, Don Reno enlisted in the Army and served in the China, Burma, India area. Two years and four battles later, Don returned to his native South Carolina where he ventured into a new field, that of grocer and barber. But in early 1948, the urge to play became great for Don Reno, and it was soon after this that he signed up as a member of Bill Monroe's Bluegrass Boys. His stint with Bill Monroe was short-lived, though, and in 1949, he organized the now-famous group Don Reno and the Tennessee Cut-Ups. Right now, we'll hear him perform on a Bill Monroe-influenced selection entitled Love, Please Come Home. Now, I want you to listen close, and you'll hear those famous Reno rolls when he steps out on a solo. As you read this letter that I write to you, sweetheart, I hope you'll understand that you're the only love I knew. Please forgive me if you can. Sweetheart, I beg you to come home tonight. I'm so blue and all alone. I promise that I'll treat
and we're back. As promised, here's how it goes when you call a living legend on the telephone. The great Don Reno. Don, you're known in the business of bluegrass as a living legend. You've had a playing style named after you, known as Reno-style banjo. Can you think of one person or thing that most influenced you in your early career as far as playing your own thing, or was playing the way you play just a natural path you followed? Well, it was more or less uh, <clears throat> natural. Uh, I heard all these combinations of music, and uh, I just kind of figured, uh, figured it all out and put it on the banjo neck. Well, it is a very unique style, and uh, it, you, if you look at any bluegrass magazine that deals with banjo, you'll see a, a, always a section devoted to Reno-style banjo. Has it got to give you a good feeling, huh? Yes, it sure does. Do you have any idea how many songs you've written over the years? About 400 and 467, I believe. <laughs> About 467. That, that narrows it down pretty well. Uh, do you have... Does Don Reno have one favorite song out of all those songs uh, that were your original tunes? I mean, one of one of the one of your favorite ones that you wrote that sticks out in your mind. Yeah, uh, "Pretty Wreath for Mother's Grave," I guess, was always my favorite. <laughs> Listening to an interview with Don Reno, that last number was taken from an old 78 produced by King Records, and it was the one that Don Reno says is his personal favorite. I want to thank Bill and Topsy Gibson for loaning me that record from their album collection, and now back to our conversation with Don. And as far as your career, Don, are there any stones left unturned in your career? In other words, uh, is there one place or one situation that you've always wanted to perform in and have never yet gotten around to do it? Well, we've uh, always kind of wanted to play in Hawaii, you know, I have. Oh, that sounds great. I've never, never played there. Uh, play in Hawaii like a playing vacation. 
<laughs> you could maybe get together with Don Ho. You know who I mean? Yeah. Don Ho and Don Reno. <laughs> Live. That'd be good. Do you have a favorite bluegrass artist? And I mean, like, and what type of music does Don Reno put on the old record player when he wants to sit back and relax and be entertained? Well, uh, I'd say the uh, early records of uh, Flat and Scruggs are about as good as any that I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. And 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 when you want to put something on the on the radio or on the record player is the what do you listen to do you listen to bluegrass is, or you know do you have uh, something it's a mixture uh, sometimes I'll listen to bluegrass and sometimes I'll listen to uh, uh, old Ernest Tubb records or uh, pretty fond of Merle Haggard and uh, I like them all Mr. Don Reno a true gentleman right now we'll listen to a Don Reno version of the Dill Pickle Rag <laughs> 